that's it the last lap of 2024 for me today is 12th of november 2023 the last day that the track will be open you can actually see it hopefully for public this year even though that well the weather is bad anyway but even if it would be good uh Nebukuni has already commitments with construction company to finish the digitalization project maybe a couple of resurfacing so the next time we will be driving is uh, mid march 2024 that's <laughs> I just drove that car previously. It's a K-swapped E30, fantastic car. Right now I'm driving my Polestar 2 because this lap will be more about talking to you about how the year was, some projections for the coming year, and this is why the quietness should be there. Now, although this is the last lap of the year for me, I have still close to 150, 140 videos in the backlog which is enough until next year, next season, till March. And in between, we're gonna have lots of interesting more updates coming up. So do not worry about lack of content. There is going to be plenty of that. But if you want to come to the Nevercring, you cannot drive. But we are working on something to actually, to have still some winter events together with Apex team, with me, with some other people, maybe some track walks we will see. Just one more thing, although the Nürburgring is closing, you can keep the Nürburgring vibe going, and especially since the holidays are around the corner, you can now get 20% off the 360 book. So 360 Nürburgring, 360 Nürburgring, also the cool sweaters that they have. So if you're a Nürburgring geek just like me, use the Misha23 discount code to get 20% off. Also, I will get a small kickback. Also, Nürburgring is getting a small, small kickback since it's a Nürburgring licensed product, so you can support both of us and also 360 books of course it is the book is full of interesting trivia about the Nürburgring when it was built about the information about certain corners how to take them also it has interviews with me and also other drivers etc so it's a perfect holiday gift or just something to have on your coffee table if you are a Nürburgring nerd just like me all right enjoy the last the last lap and the rest of the last lap of the year let's talk a bit about the year but first of all i would like to hear from you guys how was the year for you when it comes to track driving when it comes to nebukarin when it comes to my content how was it for you did you like what you saw do you want to see something else for next year for me personally without a doubt this was the most successful year on youtube on instagram on other social networks when it comes to the views the numbers the type of content that we've been putting out the type of content that i was fortunate enough to put out thanks to you for to everyone who gave me their cars to drive to trusted me with their possessions it was amazing of course we reached 1 million subscribers by now it's 1 million 60 thousand already and the million celebration will happen in two weeks time roughly shortly before december because by now i'm still finalizing a couple of things and it's been in the works pretty much the whole year i would say there are gonna be it's going to be big it's going to be a big change for next year so stay tuned for that shortly before december it's what you will be able to see now speaking of which short-term updates on december 1st the Essen motor show in germany will kick off and the gr86 of gapped that you can all win will is actually been selected to be on the Nürburgring stand this means that the car will be there and we unfortunately have to move the giveaway date to after that so everyone who wants to see the car everyone who wants to meet me you can come over to SM Motor Show uh, we will give like a more update due course because I will be, I have also some commitments with Bilstein uh, with Blackfish Graphics because we'll be selling some merch on their stand etc so follow my social media pages to find out what we will be doing now, speaking of Bilstein, I think that's some, and actually speaking of Gap GR86, rewinding back to the beginning of the year, this was like the big announcement after many years that I finally had my own project car, the GR86, that people eventually will be able to win. It went, I would say, well, in a way, it was an exciting car. We had, oh, that's threatened from M35, uh, uh, E39 and 5 restorations. Uh, 
it went well the build was amazing it was great reception we had also a couple of setbacks uh, we are still working on our app that we'll be releasing and the whole community around it so that will have to wait unfortunately till next year but because we want to have it perfectly done the giveaway of the car has been pushed back due to the accident unfortunately oh my god am i going to be overtaken by a volvo is it wow fantastic i love it fantastic such a great great day oh, he has some fake car carton uh, license plates yeah so the gr86 the giveaway will be later in the year um probably end of the year and then the app will come out later as well now, i mentioned bilstein of course that was also a tremendous success i would say it's something that we've been working on also quite a lot to make it happen and finally from this year on i was able to call myself a professional race car driver because i'm all under contract of milstein and black falcon and now i don't have to pay for my own racing and overall speaking of which i think it's been a quite a successful project because Although maybe we haven't won any races, but we had on the second race that we participated in, we had the podium. A majority of it, pretty much all, has to contribute. We need to say thank you to Jimmy and Steve because they were the fastest out of the three. And for me, well, I have a good excuse. I'll tell you more about it. It has to do something with the, the big celebration that is coming in two weeks' time because my mind was actually not on the racing at all. But still, we managed to perform quite well. And in the end, the most important thing is that everyone is happy. Uh, we secured points. We had lots of uh, fun. Um, everybody is happy. And we are now on the way to next season, next year, where we will be, of course, the highlight will be participating with 24 hours of Nürburgring. And in between, we will have also a couple of other events. We'll have a sim racing event together with everyone and maybe something in the winter as well. So we will see about that uh, but most importantly i will work hard myself on my shortcomings as a driver because first and foremost my head will be in the right place and again in two weeks time you will understand exactly what was going on and probably a couple of more things so i'm very happy with how it went and also big thank you to all of you for all the support that we have received as a team your enthusiasm for the project everyone who came to meet us and support us during actual races we have a lots of plans coming up also for next year how you could interact with us and uh, how you can meet us and uh, that we can all have fun time together okay we talked about the gr86 we talked about the bilstein racing in short we talked about well the success of the channel of course and I want to briefly touch on again on that is again the fact that the variety of cars that I was fortunate enough to drive thanks to you from shit boxes that owners themselves call shit boxes to almost hypercars. I mean SF90 we had is that like hypercar for performance? Even this year started by me driving the Rimas Nevera, although maybe not on the Nürburgring but in Croatia. So hopefully we'll actually get to drive it on track. But I thought to Rimac team I said I'm only interested in driving it when Matt Rimac himself is gonna join me for a lap so let's see if that will ever happen at all for next year regarding that let me know what you would want to see I do personally want to do more vlogs again because there are lots of I would say updates and projects coming up for next year that will be interesting to showcase from my perspective other than just simply laps now last year i was thinking about adding um like starting a second channel where i would put mostly on boards i decided not to do it just keep it all on one thing because it would be too hard to manage a few weeks ago i was thinking of starting a second channel where we're putting vlogs and keeping this as an onboard channel but i think to be honest it kind of works uh, by having everything on just one main channel and we will find a nice balance in between and since I would say 99% of my videos are not clickbaity. You know exactly if it's an onboard or a vlog or a racing content and which car it is we're driving most of the times. I think it could function pretty well, but let me know what your opinions are going to be. Now, what else should I say? Regarding the track, maybe. We had, of course, this digitalization project. Half of the track has now cameras installed. 
uh, that can detect all kinds of things from accidents, from uh, issues on the track. Um, and this winter they will do the second part of it. And I think it is very necessary to have this project done. Because we have seen, unfortunately, this year, big amount of oil spills, big amount of incidents, big amount of things that would be good to notify the marshals, notify the traffic in advance. And it's, well, next year the system is going to be finished. Hopefully it will be partially operational because they say that the system will be fully operational by uh, 2025. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see that happen. Another thing, while I'm driving here through mood curve, uh, like this curbstone here, ooh, take some grass and take some curb. You've seen that I was at Kunos, the producers, the makers of Assetto Corsa, because Norschleife is coming to Assetto Corsa Competizione. I was there to give a couple of feedback regarding the track, the layout, some things, and a lot of it actually to my uh, surprise was already implemented because they let me drive it just for fun. And then I started like being nitpicky saying like, you know, this curb, it should, could use some more color. And here you're missing an FIA fence. And here you could put the toilet as a reference point. And they actually started taking notes. And next day I received the WhatsApp saying like, hey, we actually already implemented lots of your feedback. And I'm like, oh my God, I did not expect that because that was not the purpose of our meeting. What was the purpose of our meeting then, you might ask. And I'm gonna say we just had nice lunch. So having said that, um, I'm looking forward to actually play the game, which is going to come out, I believe, well, somewhere next year for next season, uh, and actually hone my skills in the in the simulator because I already made it no secret that the set of course one has helped me tremendously uh, in the winters of 2018 and 2019 to become a better driver, and uh, ACC is going to contribute to that as well 100 percent especially with the new update i said in the past already but when i tried the game for the first time after 1.8 uh, update i said the tire model is fantastic it's great i was just sad that the north level was not there so i didn't really touch the game but now i have lots of reasons to actually do that so i'm very much looking forward to that what else should i say um i really enjoyed all kinds of interactions that you and i have had on uh, on social media on the track and i would like to take it to the next level also next year by organizing some official meet and greets although everyone can just come to apex and ask for me and if i'm there yeah we're gonna actually do something but i think i want to do actually like actual proper meet and greets and events considering renting gp track not shy for considering renting that as well for many many years already uh, but that will be a track day purpose and not really meet and greet purpose because yeah you end up meeting in a car park and uh, that's that we can do during TF as well what else is there I, I want to like do also a couple of more collabs with other youtubers it's something that we've been doing also this year I think it worked out quite nicely and especially everyone loved it uh, not only from audience side also from other content creator side and if we can do something more special with that that would be great for next year winter I would like also look into going to some warmer countries for let's say work slash holiday slash content creation purposes where we can go I don't know to US to Emirates maybe as well Yas Marina, Dubai, because in the winter there it's actually their driving season because it's like the, the temperatures are becoming bearable. So that's something I would like to do. Um, but that's something that's just like thinking out loud and something we would see. Project car, also thinking of getting something. I've been talking about the Honda. Um, since the GR86 is not finished yet completely, that has been put on hold. And since another big update is coming up, um, that you will see in two weeks time uh, that will have to wait so we will see about that I don't know what else to say like like I said it's been a fantastic year maybe I don't want to finish on a bad note but quickly reflect on some downsides is of course we had the crash with GR86 that by now we have repaired but I didn't want to take out thinking of like 
yeah, uh, what if something happens now on the last day? Let's not do that. Uh, and since I just want to actually talk to you and the GR86 is quite loud, I decided to take the Polestar. Aside from that, Adrian has left, unfortunately. He went to Switzerland because he couldn't deal with the Eiffel, with the boring Eiffel life. And I completely support that. I always said, if not for the Nürburgring, if not for my work, I would have left from here a long time ago because uh, life here is quite hard. If you don't like the track, if you're not living for the track and not doing anything for the track, it gets quite boring. Um, anything else? Any other downsides? Well, of course, crashes in the racing and a couple of crashes in TF that I'm still going to show and talk about during the winter content. Have you crashed and nobody knows? Yeah, well, if you're not gonna talk about it, no one's gonna know. So for everyone who is saying like, oh, Misha crashed so many times, those people actually crash themselves quite often, but just like not being public about it. I always remember when I crashed the, the M4 last year and some people were making publicly fun of me and then the M4 went to a local workshop where lots of crashed cars of those particular people who were making fun of me were standing. And all of a sudden, th those people were quiet because I knew that they were not perfect themselves. It's just like thing of life, you know, it's quite funny. So um, yeah, I'm gonna talk about more about my failures this year over the next couple of months as we're posting more of the content. Um, and there's that nothing great, nothing, I mean, like saying nothing serious, um, no cars were written off, um, just like small dents here and there. And of course, just like last year, I either paid for the damages or rebuilt them or even better. Um, and there's going to be update about that. Now to finish on a positive note, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I, I started already on a positive note by saying that this was the best year when it comes to my career, to content creation, to whatever you want to call it. And I hope we'll be able to proceed in that way for next year. Like I said, I don't want to be pushing, like push too much when it comes to like driving on boards, doing the most exciting things over and over again. I also want to pick up vlogs again and I hope you uh, kind of like that idea. So first of all, again, to summarize, uh, great year. Thank you so much. Looking forward to next year. At SM Motor Show on the 1st of December, I will be present with the GR86 at the Nürburgring stand. Our race car, the 330 BMW of Bilstein, will be at the Bilstein stand. We'll be having also some merch sales at the Blackfish stand, uh, also some giveaways. There'll be lots of cool stuff coming up. And stay tuned for the major, humongous update in two weeks' time. We're by now waiting for the taxi license bids because um, as you know some of you know that taxi licenses expire after three years time and four companies are allowed to have a taxi license the ones who bid the highest and i think we will know which companies will have it for the coming three years by friday this week no friday next week the 17th or maybe shortly after um, although I'm not putting a bit on having a taxi license or doing anything with it, um, it will be interesting to see how this will change the taxi. Oh, by the way, yeah, I need to say bye to Bernd and Margaret over there because they it's their last day as marshals. And I need to, yeah, they are, bro. We, yeah, they, they served the Nürburgring tremendously. Um, I, I will definitely be missing them. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for this year. Once again, thank you everyone who made it possible. There'll be more updates, etc. This was more of a symbolic lap to tell you what is happening, what has been happening and what will be happening. So thanks again. And I'm gonna enjoy a bit of time off edit all the videos for you, prepare for a big next year, and see you then. So thanks for all the support. It's been fantastic. And on to many more laps in the coming season. It's going to be amazing.